Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Um, I, I come on board to speak. Number one is a mother in my continent, Africa. And number two, uh, as a prophet of God, by the grace of God. Uh, at times, we keep silent and um, things uh, in the world are not getting any better. And that, that is the season we entered into, particularly uh, from the time of Corona. Now, I want to, to speak to my continent as a mother, uh, number two, because of the assignment God has given me, and that uh, this one is directed to the church, and more so uh, my fellow ministers of the gospel. We must come out of this mentality of thinking that the breakthrough of our ministries or what God has called us to do is in the West. We are uh, in this, in this, we don't despise anybody, we don't hate anybody, and um, we must believe uh, that, uh, you know, we have equal calling and God loves Africa and we must begin loving ourselves as the Lord has loved us and valued us as you know people he has anointed for information the end time move of god is breaking forth in the continent of africa we are going to be the carriers Oh, you know, we have the people who are going to send ambassadors. I know uh, we received the gospel, you know, we received salvation and the gospel came to Africa from the West. But this time around, it is going to be the other way around. Hallelujah. And, uh, you know, Africa, we, we, have, we are coming from places where we did not have enough resources, you know, even of, um, you know, being able to, uh, to, to access, access much as far as uh, knowledge and all those things are concerned. But where we are right now, uh, things have really shifted and the favor of God is upon the continent of Africa. Now, I just want to correct something, something. We, even as uh, other people also come into Africa to minister and we are also going to other nations to minister, uh, there is a way we must begin believing in ourselves that, you know, Africa has all what it takes, you know, to be able to to do the will of God, to do the will of God without that begging mentality that you cannot do a children's home without begging. You cannot do a widow's ministry without begging from the West. You cannot do a church work, even a building, you know, a house of God without begging from the West. You know uh, th that mentality has has to stop has to cease and we must also ask ourselves the secret that these people have and they are making it you know in in whatever they are doing even for the kingdom of god where is the cut off why aren't we able to to to, to do it you know we don't see them begging us why are we begging why why do we have that mentality you know i i know where we are coming from, you know, when we were growing up, I told you the other day, we were told Africa is a black, you know, a dark continent. We are not a dark continent. I'm not, a, I'm not in a dark continent. Africa has the best minerals, that, uh, the best minerals, the best weather, the best soil. You know, we have all the water, we have everything. Africa, uh, basically Africa, Africans, we have everything. We have everything. Hallelujah. So we must be, we must begin living you know that way and knowing that god loves us and uh, when god has called me into the ministry my 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 focus should not be how do i how do i swiddle how do i do one two three things i have had cases in my life not one or two you know somebody began something you know taking photos of uh, needed people in trukana needed people in saburu you know children without clothes and you know that is a that is a custom of some of these people uh, you know in my country there, there are people who are called trukanas and samburus and, and somebody was taking you know some photos of uh, you know s s those children without shoes and we, you know the way they wear you know customarily the way they wear and, and somebody many years ago used to get too much money you know from from some some 
some some brethren from the US and uh, at the end of the day you know this person you know could just show uh, some a bit of uh, the food they have bought and what have you but the rest of the money the man used to change cars one after the other and one time you know he even put a very big house for himself the man you, you know used to buy lads you know here and there lads here and there and call other servants of God to go and dedicate now I have another lad I don't know what and what have you one day on a Sunday in the morning a fire came from nowhere and burnt the big house with everything in it into ashes one day one day you know and the cars began breaking down one after the other because you can you, you can learn a race that is wicked covering up in the name of the lord but you can never learn forever you can never learn forever i know of a couple that when god supposed to them what they have been doing is evil they were also doing the same using you know the needed to solicit funds from from the west at the end of the day you know that family went through hell you know you know you know it's, it's a short-lived joy when you, you are driving a car you know that that you have bought using the money that you, you it was meant to taking care of the orphans that is wickedness you know god is a god of just and let me tell you if you do the word of God you see you know God is the father of the orphans he's the he's the he's the husband to the widows so what do you expect and the poor and the needy God you you know there are four people you should not joke around in your life hallelujah so uh and uh and uh, at the end of the day I thank God for one of the couples they came back to their senses and they began from zero actually they cut off and began from zero they're in one of the places in one I'm in Nairobi so they're in one of the places in the city of Nairobi and uh, let me tell you, you you don't have to go through pain you don't have to go through that direction now I, I want to correct something in boldness and uh, we, we must speak these things out now I'm a, I'm a, I'm a preacher I'm a, woman, I'm a woman of God by the grace of God and I know out there we have several we have so many we are so many in, in, in billions or in millions in the world now like now I'm talking to my continent in Africa when you God favors you and you connect to uh, any man of God either in the US Australia Canada and all those places and you begin a journey walking with them uh, when you share with them if they give you that platform and you share with them the needs that you have in Africa and what you want to do for your ministry, depending on the call of God in your life, Kaidre, be truthful. Be truthful. This notion where somebody is showing uh, how dry the religion they want to reach out is and they, they get money from another man of God or another ministry, either in the U.S. or another place, they get money for borehole. And then when the man of God from, from the U.S. or from wherever comes now, when it is time to come now and they commission the borehole and they realize there is no borehole that was dug, there is nothing. Then when they come to Kenya or the other nation, they, they realize the story, the story is changing, you know. And, and the men of God in Africa, the, the people who got the money from the man of God from the other side, you know, they, they have used the money to buy rats, to build flats, and, and to buy cars and whatever they have done. Let me tell you, this uh, that uh, cannot be corrected by gathering other pe other people in the you know in the church in your nation to, to repent that is your personal error so correct the error by yourself correct the error by yourself you know if you sweet old money from a, any man or woman of God from a, another nation but come from the West and uh, you, 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 you heard a story and you got the money from them. Maybe you invited them for a meeting in your country and you even involved other servants of God. And, uh, you know, there was a committee for that because the, the other person coming from the other side may be a great man or a woman of God. And you had a committee for the same. And uh, you, you even said people to enter or the, the, the ground you want to use is a government ground. And people are, are supposed to pay, you know, for entry. And when the man of God from the other side or the servant of God from the other side came to the like you not know, come to my nation or Kenya or whichever nation they realize people are not paying for entry and then you had solicited the fund from them because you need to pay for the people who want to come to the meeting and they have they, they have no money to pay for entry and then you know that is wickedness we, you cannot then gather us up when you realize you did something wrong then you know after you have used that money you know to buy another car to buy to, to, to buy houses to buy rents and to to, to live uh, you know a, a very high life in your life Life. then when you come back to your senses and now you are calling us as the church in the nation you want us to be a part of the repentance we mishandled the man or a woman of God we did not mishandle any man or a man, a man or a woman of God as a nation you did mishandle the person so the nation did not sin 
the nation did not sin. I, I, I know I'm about to talk about the story of Akan. I know somebody is about to be. We did not sin. You and your ministry sinned. You and your ministry sinned. You and the call of God and the, your wife and your children, you know, and, and, and your ministry sinned, you know, and the people you are worked with. If you organize a meeting for a man or a woman of God, like, you know, in, we, we have had a place called Hulpak in my nation, and you, after the offering was given, you know, you get money, the man of God from the other side it has, has sent money for the crusade and everything. They have organized for their meetings, you know. Even from there, you are still, you know, putting bills that are, necess and are unnecessary. Then when the offering is correct, you know, you, you switch to that money around and you do whatever you want to do, you know. If, if a government, or, you know, summons you or calls you, you know, as a representation of the church, particularly in my nation, you know, we, our, where the president is and where the government stays, the president is called the state house, and, and you are given money for servants of God, take this two million, three million, that is fair for the servants of God who had attended a government meeting, then you run away with that money. You don't call us as a nation to repent on your behalf. That is your own mess that is your own mess you sort out your own mess so you don't put the, the entire nation you know in one basket and say servants of god came to kenya or to south africa or to uganda then we mishandle you know we you mishandled him you mishandle the servant of god not the church in kenya i know all of us you know the bible says in the book of corinthians we are all members we are all members let me tell you church of, of the body of jesus christ but each one of us the bible says each one of us is a member individual individually each one of us is a member individually so if a man or a woman of god has been sent by by god to your nation and then you you you, you being the right person or the point person uh you know to 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 uh, to, to bring them in and then you mishandle them you mishandle the resources you cheat you cheat them you lie to them you 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 do whatever you want to do with their money and do whatever you want to do let me tell you if you have if you come back to your senses those houses you bought with the money that you swindled them kindly sell those houses let the money be returned back to what the purpose it was supposed to be used to this is not the genuine repentance not gathering the church not not not, not putting the church in one basket and saying we sin we did not sin we did not you sin you are a member of the body individually so you sin as a person hallelujah and uh, let me tell you, <laughs> uh, let me tell you, uh, we, we refuse, I refuse in Africa that in my generation, that in my generation, people will do evil and then they cover up now you cover up and invite us to come and repent i don't know to come and do what and do whatever you want us to do then at the end of the day you are still collecting the rent from the houses you built from the money that was meant for orphans you are still driving the car from the money that you used that was supposed to uh, to be for uh, digging boreholes you know for 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 the need in certain regions as you had lied now what what, what is this what, what gimmicks is all this about what gimmicks is all this about? And we must speak these things out. And in our generation, and in our dispensation, Africans, Kaidre, our help is in the Lord our God. That does not mean we shall not work with other people. God is sending us to those nations and, and, and we are going. We are also hosting people from other nations and we honor them, we handle them, we handle them, we accord them the respect that is demanded. We honor them with our substances. We honor them. We host international meetings and we honor them with our substances as Africans. Hallelujah. Even if they are coming from the U.S. and wherever they are coming, we honor them with our substances. Even if we, we, we receive them as brethren in our midst and we cannot take advantage of them. Some of them may, may, may be fortunate. They may, may, they may be ahead of us economically, but then you don't take it. Now, this, that, is, that is also a part, uh, that is also a member of the body of Jesus Christ. So you don't take advantage of your, or of your fellow brother or sister. That is wickedness. That is wickedness. So anybody in Africa, you mishandled any servant of God who came from another nation. Kindly don't drag the church in the mess sort out your mess if you are still collecting rents from the flats and the houses you build using the money you swindled any servant of god in your life and you have come back to your senses kindly sell those houses let them that money be restored to the purpose it was ordained for number two look for that person individually go to the man or the woman of god individually access them individually you know the channel some of these people are up here so you know how you can access that person
person, go and repent. You confess your sin one to another, go and repent. Con con confess your sin. Let the man or the woman of God from the other side pray for you and forgive you. But you don't ask for forgiveness or call us to, for to, 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 to repent up here. You know, we cannot cover up what is down here. And, we, and as, a, as a, the church in the new dispensation, in our dispensation now, we cannot build on that mess and we cannot carry that cross. That is not our cross. That is not our cross. And we are very careful by the grace of God how we are dealing with our brethren from either nation, from whichever nation. We are very careful. They are our brethren. They are, they are, they are, all mem they are also members of the same body as we, 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 as we belong to, you know, to, this, to the body of Christ. Hallelujah. So we cannot take advantage of them. We cannot mishandle them. We cannot sweet on them. We cannot. Let me tell you, if you are driving a car where you sweet on anybody, including the children of God, including the people you minister to, you sweet on them, you sweet on them their money, so that you uh, you ride, so that you can uh, you know you can go out, get away with it. You know you are living uh, and uh, living well, high life. You know you are you are living your houses and all those lands and whatever you have. Let me tell you, the God who sees and the God who is just is coming for you. Jehovah God is coming to serve justice in your house. So can, can we stop covering up sin and covering up in carpets? You know, I'm looking at the story of, of Zacchaeus. Uh, you remember the story of Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was not a believer. And uh, we remember what, what he's doing. You know, that guy he lived a high life. And, you know, tax collectors in many nations, many of them, unless you are truly born again, they have opportunities of swindling people here and there. And what do we see? When this man encounters Jesus, what do we see? He's repenting. He's repenting and he, he's even owning up. I'll return whatever I've taken. I'll even return. Not even one for I will return, you know. I, I will return, I will restore, I will return. So that is that is true repentance. If you are if you are collecting land and if you are driving a car for the money that was meant for orphans, the widows and the needy, and the money you sweet of the offering that was meant, you know, for the man or woman of God that you hosted or you in a in a committee you you you, you hosted, kindly return back. That man of God may be long dead. You know, may belong dead in the world, but they'll go and look for the children, go and look for, for their ministry, go and confess that sin. That is true repentance. But then we cannot cover up things up here and think that now we are beginning well. That the servants of God came to our nation, they went back in pain, they, went, they were mishandled. Who mishandled them? Let the people who mishandled them own up. Own up, confess the sin. As a church of Jesus Christ in that nation, as we come in, confess the sin. Say, the money, I, you know, this man came, you know, I connected this man, you know, he came and I, I, I requested money to do ministry, blah, blah. Instead of doing ministry, I sweet out the money. Instead of digging boreholes for the needy, I sweet out the money. I have put up this flat in my life and me and my wife and my children, we are correcting them. Now, this, that is true repentance. But then you don't call us up, you know, up here and show that now that you are most full and now a mess was done in a country now some of the the, 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 the the things that the church is being put in some people never even knew they happened so the people who know they happened don't put the church in a nation and the church in a nation god has a remnant god will never judge the righteous together with, you know judge the wicked together with the righteous no god will not put the righteous and the wicked in one basket and nobody will carry the sin of another Nobody will carry the sin of another. We are seeing the word of God in the book of Acts. Hanania and Safira, they messed up. By the way, they are coming one after the other. So each one of them is carrying their own cross. You know, God is merciful. He would have, you know, you know, failed to mercy, you know, to Safira because she was being read by the husband. But what do we see? I mean, Peter is telling them, you, you have not read to any man. You have read to the Spirit of God. So let me tell you, you know, and that was a fellowship of brethren. So was, was the church affected, you know, by this scene of the two no you know god is finishing with them they are dealing with them individually there there hallelujah so the church was not put in one basket that the church has right now we come and repent we don't see the apostles going that direction it is an individual mission it is an individual mess so deal with your mess and sort out your mess so you don't put the church there and now begin wasting resources and gathering and calling for what i don't know for what let me tell you some of these things are just waste of resources and waste of time waste of resources and waste of time and uh, we have too much to handle we have so many souls to reach out uh, to reach to so when god has given you an opportunity to deal with any, any servant of god in the world from whichever side 
you know, kindly handle them as a part of the body, as a part of the body. Don't sweet on them. Don't be, you know, I know we are in any times where people become lovers of money and their selfishness is too much. You know, when we are simple, that's why you are seeing, you know, servants of God in quotes. I call them servants of God in quotes. They just think about themselves. They don't, in, in the same fellowship, somebody's go without food and somebody has even a private jet. Somebody has cars, yellow, green, and whatever white in your compound. For what? For what? In, in the same in the same church we have orphans and widows and the needy we have even children who cannot go to school parents in the same fellowship who even give offerings there they cannot go to school because their parents are not well able to to afford the school fees yet somebody is living her life up here and we don't see that in the foundation of the church of jesus because the bible says in the book of Acts chapter 2 you know in their midst nobody lacked in anything those people who had, you know, they were being attended to by the people who had, you know, those people who did not have. Because why? The people who had, they were even selling what they had so that their brethren who did not have may be supplied for. Now, that does not mean we become lazy. Arise church and work church in Africa. Do what you're supposed to do. Do what you're supposed to do. Even as God is calling and setting forth for, for, for help, you know, you're already doing what you're supposed to do. And then don't take advantage of the servant of God who God sends our way. We don't take advantage of them. We don't take advantage of them. So I allow me to read some scriptures. It really pains my spirit uh, to see how people who have gone ahead of us, not all of them, but some have messed up. And then they want to drag our ass into their mess. Kaitre, clear your mess. Clear your mess. Every knee shall bow before God. When God gave you an opportunity to host an international minister in your country, and then you messed up with them, it is not the nation that messed up. It is not the nation. It is you. So clear up your mess. And the church in that country cannot be put in that basket of your mess. God is very just. And by the way, God did not finish calling and anointing when he called you and, in your, and, and when you messed up. God is still raising vessels now who are not a part of your mess. I was brought up by a drunkard father and I honor my father so much because God has really, you know, changed his life. But I want to say where I am coming from. And, and when I grew up and, uh, you know, my mother took me to church and, and I was taught the word of God. I knew drunkenness is not a part of the word of God. I'm not supposed to be drunk. I'm not supposed to go that direction. So I'm, I've not built my life in his mess. You know, there are things that did not go well in his life because of his messes. So I'm not building up in that mess. I honor my father so much. And it, it is in the public domain, by the way. It's not something that is hidden. So I cannot build up, I cannot build up in his mess. And, and I'm, not, I'm not a part of his mess. Because his parents had also tried to, to, to rectify that error in his life. And even taking him to school and he refused. So I'm not a part. So I cannot refuse to go to school and follow his, 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 his route. No, he has his own, he has his own life to live. And he has his own, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, presentation to present before God. I have my own. I have my own. Thank God for the change that has come in his old age. Hallelujah. A, a father who never went to church. Today he goes to church by himself. And he's in, even an usher in the church. That is how God can do it. Hallelujah. So let everybody, I even speak to him open, we are friends. So let everybody sort out their messes. And we sit down and I tell, Father, if you did this here, it would have even been better for us here. You know, and that is so I cannot. So does it mean now I cannot talk to my father and show him you you messed up here? When God allows me, I, we speak out these things. And I tell him, Father, no, speak even to our children. Tell them, tell them the truth. Don't go my way. And that is it, the truth. So I expect that people who have gone ahead of us and they messed up, they should be calling us now to tell us, you know, in our nation, we did one, two, three, three. Don't go that direction. But not calling us to tell us now to repent and to cut to carry crosses of things we, we have not done. Own up and clear up your messes. <laughs> own up in whichever nation in Africa, own up and clear up your messes. Own up and clear up. And the one thing I want uh, the church in our dispensation to know that there are things the spoke God has quickened us and we cannot build on the messes that have been there. We cannot build on those messes. We cannot, like now we, we have grown up knowing Bishop Folic office is the highest office in the church and the Bishop Folic office has really messed up the church of Jesus Christ in Africa. You know, messed up so many things. 
messed up so many things. So first, the apostles, that those are the ministers Jesus gave. And it is Jesus, Jesus, you know, is the foundation of the church. This is what we are seeing in the Bible. The foundation is Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So we, we cannot go that direction. Having bishops, you know, leading the church, it is an error. The apostles should. The apostles should, and the, the church is built on the on the foundation of the apostles and, and prophets, not the bishopric office. And we are seeing an error. Bishops now commissioning the apostles is an error. We cannot build on that. We cannot have that in the church now. We can't. We can't. Others are being called akis. Others are being called reverends. We don't have that in the Bible. We don't have. So we cannot go that direction. That does not mean we are not respecting the, the, our fathers. Yeah, we are respecting you fathers, but we cannot build on your messes. We cannot build on your messes. And we cannot build on doctrine that is not biblical. We cannot. We cannot because we don't know where you are getting some of these things. So we cannot follow you and we cannot build you. That does not mean we are denouncing you to be fathers. You are fathers and mothers. But then what is not biblical, we cannot be a part of that. We can because the, 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 in us, in us as, as people who are born again, there's a deposit of the Spirit of God. So we know what to, we know how to get what is true and what is not true. That does not mean we are arrogant or disrespecting. No, but we have the, the, the scriptures. Hallelujah. So we are canceling that. The Bishop Holy Coffee's, we cannot continue with that mess in the church. That is not the foundation of the church, and we cannot have it. And we cannot have it. Hallelujah. So the Bible says, therefore, since we have this ministry, as we have received, I'm reading 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1 to verse 3. Therefore, since we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we do not lose heart, but we have renounced Zikatarama But we have renounced the hidden things of shame. They have to be renounced. Renouncing is not confessing. Renouncing is speaking it out publicly. We have renounced. Hallelujah. The Bible says that we have renounced. Let me let me read this. Uh, the hidden things of shame. So they must be renounced. So the Bible says not walking in craftiness. Somebody saying I have I have a uh, you know widows to take care of. You are given some money, then you go and buy another car. You go and buy another plot and put up a rental house there. Let me tell you, you'll pay for this. So the Bible is walking in craftiness, not handling the word of God deceitfully. Are you hearing this? Hallelujah. But by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. Are you seeing this? So it is every man's conscience. That is it. Shirama Handorobozia. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Allow me to read for you this in the book of. Uh, let me get you. I put my papers there. So let me read for us. Uh, and let me see this. Oh, I've written the scriptures. Uh, uh, this is First uh, Peter chapter four. First Peter chapter four. First Peter chapter four seven to eleven. First Peter chapter four seven to eleven. Hallelujah. Therefore, uh, the Bible says, the Bible says, but the end of all things is at hand. You can read all of it. I was beginning verse 1, but I want to read verse, uh, from verse 7. So that is First Peter chapter 4 uh, uh, from verse, 11, verse 7. The Bible says, but, but uh, the end of all things is at hand. Therefore, be serious and watchful in your prayers. And above all things, uh, have fervent love for one another. Are you seeing this? For one another. Whether somebody is coming from the US to Africa, Canada, Australia, you know, so we should have fervent love for one another. The Bible says, for love will cover a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another. Are you seeing this? Not taking advantage of one another. Be hospitable. Hmm? So the Bible says, be hospitable to one another without grumbling. As each one has received a gift, minister it to one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. Hallelujah. Are you seeing this? Minister to one another, not craftily dealing with each other, not taking advantage of each other. We are all bodies. The, somebody coming to Africa from Australia, from whichever nation, and they are born again, they are a part of us. We are one body. So the Bible says, if anyone speaks, let him speak as the oracles of God. If anyone ministers, let him do it with the ability which God surprised, uh, that in all things God may be glorified through Christ Jesus. In, in all things, 
are to whom belong the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Hallelujah. So I've always asked myself, when somebody is craftily dealing with a brother or a sister, so which spirit is this? Who are you? And why would you do that? Why would you do that to a brother or a sister? Or a man of, before we, be, we become the prophet and the apostles, we are sisters and brothers. You know, we are sisters and brothers. By the way, Jesus Christ is our elder brother. That's what the scripture calls it. Hallelujah. So why would I swindle my brother in the U.S. or my sister in the U.S.? You know, some money. Or why would I go that direction of craftiness? You know, why would I go that direction? So can we look at this? Can we look at this? Uh, the Bible says in the book of Galatians chapter 5 and verse 16, I say then walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lust against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another so that you do not do the things that you wish. Are you seeing this? So when you're a son of God, you are you have the, 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 the deposit of the Spirit of God in you. So when you do contrary to the will of the, of God, because God is spirit, that means you're doing contrary to the Spirit of God. Then the, the flesh has taken toll. Hallelujah. So the Bible says, so that you do not... So now when you do what you're not supposed to do as a son of God, that means the flesh has taken over your life. The Bible says... Um, but if you are led by the Spirit of God, you are not under the law. The Bible says, verse 19, Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, adultery so much in the church, so much in the church. Fathers are even sleeping with their own daughters in the church. Fornication has become the order of the day, adultery. You know, you know, somebody with a big title, but they have concubines, they are taking care of some women somewhere, you know, or women taking care of some young men somewhere. You know, a lot of immorality in the church. So the Bible says, now the work of the flesh is evident. So this person is not born again. Can, can we stop now justifying this and calling this weakness? When, you, when somebody is struggling with the, uh, the Bible says, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, rudeness, idolatry, sorcery. People are now leaving the power of the Holy Spirit spirit they are going for oils and uh, when somebody says you don't have to pray and fast anymore just go and get oil from so and so take some little money there and uh, some specific amount of money then he's going to give you his oil when you pour that oil at the entrance of the church the oil will be gathered in people my god hallelujah and uh, with i had these very few members within two or three months people just began coming and i'm now i built a church a, a cathedral i have uh, i'm driving my car you can see the car i'm driving let me tell you those oils these those demonic oils you are using and the things you have gotten from hell my god you are you are you are operating in the flesh that is no longer church that is the work of the flesh so the bible says idolatry sorcery hatred contentions uh jesus says outburst of blood uh selfish ambitions because when somebody widows another brother or sister money because they have covered up they have orphanage they are taking care of widows and you're not doing that those are selfish ambitions now, this, that is the work of the flesh. That person is not born again. That is the work of the flesh. So the Bible says, um, uh, ambitions, deceptions, heresies, envy, murders, uh, mad, ma murders, you know, uh, uh, prophetess. I'm reading the word of God here in the, in the book of uh, Galatians chapter 5. Murders are in the church. Uh, hallelujah. Oh my God. Hey, yeah. Hallelujah. Drunkenness. People are drinking, uh, drinking and drinking, right, left and center. Eh, drinking, drunkard, drunkenness, leverage, and the like. Can I read for you the scripture the Bible says, of which I tell you beforehand, just as, as, as I also told you in the time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. So instead of covering up in the name of the Lord and the congregation and all that, just cross over the other side because you will not inherit the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. I love verse 22 down there. The Bible says, but the fruit of the Spirit is. So this is a reflection of somebody walking in the Spirit. So love. Uh, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, uh, goodness, uh, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Again, it's that there is no role. And those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with, with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Hallelujah. So that is the measure. Uh, let us walk in the, uh, in the Spirit. The Bible says, the last verse, let us not become uh, become consistent, uh, coincident, uh, provoking one another, envying one another. 
Hallelujah. So when somebody says servants of God came and they left our country, you know, angry, they were hurt, blah, blah, who hurt them? So can we begin, can we begin it well? Can we begin it well? The people who did whatever they did to the servants of God, who went to, back to their country hurt, can they, can they uh, sort out the mess first? Can they sort out the mess first? Hallelujah. Uh, we counter that by, number one, uh, we have had the repentance, but they can, can they correct the mess? Can they correct the mess? Hallelujah. Let, let me show you something here. So can, can we look at this? In the book of uh, Luke chapter 19, this is Zacchaeus. So Jesus is calling him, come down his. So this is what Zacchaeus is saying. Uh, and Zacchaeus stood uh, and said to the Lord, look, Lord, I give half of my goods to the poor. <laughs> I give half of my, because why? You know, I have not had that kind of a life. So it, just that connection with Jesus, he's been convicted. So I give half of my, I, I give half of my goods to the poor. And I will, and, and if I have taken anything from anyone by false accusation, I restore, I restore fourfold. Hallelujah. So anything I've taken, forcefully, it has to be restored. So that is the beginning point of healing the nation. People want to heal any nation in Africa and, you know, correcting that mess. But we cannot do this when somebody is driving a car or has parked a car outside their compound and they forcefully, you know, forcefully acquired it by sweetening a brother or a sister. A man or a woman of God, they connected with internationally. We cannot clean up that mess unless it, things are done the right way. So, kindly, my brethren, there are foundations we cannot build on. I, I love. I, I'm, I'm reading the Word of God here in the book of Timothy, and I'm seeing, you know, how Timothy is being admonished by the Father even on how to maintain the doctrine, to follow the doctrine, because why? You know, he looked at the father, or the, the journey had worked with the father in the Lord. You know, it is worth following. It is worth following. The doctrine, the counsel is worth following. Hallelujah. And, and let me tell you, there are things in my continent, Africa, there are some doctrines, there are some setups that, that are hidden in the church that in our dispensation we cannot do that because we have the backup of the word of God in the book of uh, Psalm 145. Psalm 145. No, Psalm 145. Allow me to get there. Psalm 145 and, and verse 4. The Bible says, the Bible says, one generation shall declare the works of God to another. So there is, there is, there, there is a cutoff. There is a cutoff we must do to whatever is not godly, whatever is not godly foundation. You know, nowadays, ordination, somebody gathers people in masses, since he has not mentored, since even he doesn't know their doctrine and even what they believe. And because somebody has given you a hard out, a, you know, some few coins, you just go and pour your oil on you, on, on them, sorry, and give them a, your certificate and you allow them because you have a name in your nation, you allow them to operate now as church. So when even when they mess up, they begin selling things in the church, they begin selling stickers, waters and all those gimmicks and a cadabra. You're not able to correct them because why? You have declared the wrong works to them. So they are, they are dispensing the wrong works. And because you ate their money, you know, and, and you know, people are building kingdoms. So somebody wants to be, to be hard, you know, and these masses are following so and so. It's not about all those things. It's about the souls of men. So how many souls are we taking to heaven? How many souls are we preparing for eternity? So you just go and pour oils on people in a, in a stadium, in a, in, a, in, a, in a church hall. They are gathering there with you, with their garments. You give them their garments and all of you. You give them titles and call them reverends and others bishops and whatever you are calling them. Let me tell you, let me, we shall not build on that. We do not see Jesus releasing and sending the disciples he had not equipped. We don't see Paul sending Titus and Timothy, the sons he had not equipped. I leave that. God bless you.